Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are going to discuss in short about the month of September which has just started yesterday and I have timed this as the most intelligent month of the entire year although we barely have three to four months remaining. But this month is very important because during this month there are a lot of there's a lot of decision making which will go on and during this month we will also try to seek a lot of help from others from our friends our relatives our family members from anybody our colleagues in pertaining to certain matters which we will discuss today and that is why this is probably the most intelligent month of the year okay so what happens to you ultimately is dependent on the dashas that you run as i have said in many 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 of my transit videos so therefore if you are watching this video and if you feel that what i am saying does not match with what is happening in your life so don't panic don't be surprised don't think that astrology doesn't work okay first you analyze your dashas and then you try to see how the transits fit in transits are the ones which uh, are used in timing events okay transits are not used to predict things in somebody's life that is a very big misconception all right so as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want a consultation from me regarding your dashas or any other area of your life then you can go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so what is happening now currently as i'm making this video most of the planets like for example sun mercury venus and we have mars also they are transiting in Purva Falguni Nakshatra. Mercury is going to enter by today, or I guess it has already entered. And uh, all the other uh, three planets, Sun, Venus, Mars, they are transiting in Purva Falguni Nakshatra. Okay. And after some time, after a week or so, uh, they will be entering Uttara Falguni Nakshatra. And uh, that moment is a very important uh, time during uh, this month okay so especially i would say starting from 10th to 15th those five days or you know the second week of this month is the most important month because very soon we will be having uh, the new moon okay in the sign of aquarius that that's a very important new moon and during this new moon like for example when this uh, i mean the full moon sorry not new moon so when the new moon happened you know, when all these planets including moon were conjunct in leo then that's the amavasya that's the new moon and that happened in the sign of leo and that also wherever leo is falling in your chart new things related to that area would have opened okay so in purva falguni nakshatra purva falguni deals with interactions with people interacting with people and see purva falguni is uh they say it's the phala phala means the fruits okay purva means past so it's like saying the fruits of your past life so you can enjoy the fruits of your past life okay but then what happens after purva falguni uttar falguni comes so what is Uttar Falguni basically? Uttar Falguni is realizing the fact that superficial interactions in life do not make us happy. Okay. So the example is given of a wedding. So Purva Falguni represents the time just before the wedding. So as in Hindi or in India they say no, the Bharat Bharat ja rahi hai. <laughs> so Bharat means the, uh, the boy and his uh, friends and relatives and you know, family members. Everybody goes to the girl's uh, home. And that celebration which they have while they are going to the bride's house, the groom and his uh, 
relatives and friends and family. That is Purva Falguni. That is exactly like Purva Falguni. But the question is, why are they going? They are not just going to have some fun out there, okay, just to celebrate something. No, that's a re really a serious business. That's marriage. And uh, then what happens? They go there <coughs> and the boy and the girl, <coughs> they will sign the contract that, yes, we will stay with each other for the rest of our life, hopefully. And that is what is Uttar Falguni Nakshatra. Okay, so this month is a very important month where we can see this transition from Purva Falguni to Uttar Falguni. Okay, and therefore this month is a very good month to know which of our interactions with people will will be superficial and which of the interactions with people will actually lead to something good and concrete and which are the interactions we should be having in our life okay now if we want to do something uh, big in life big means not externally but if we want to transform ourselves if we want to change ourselves then we must guard the uh, association which we have which means we must understand that every not everybody who associates with us or who we associate with they not not all of them i'm not saying everybody but i'm saying it can happen that most of them do not help us in our journey of life okay and when i say help i don't mean in a materialistic way or in a calculative sense you know that this person doesn't help me that person doesn't help me in my career or in my other areas of life i'm not saying that way. but many times when we associate with people you know they they can indulge in gossip and thereby we may also be tempted to indulge in gossip and they may be into uh, some bad habits like for example drinking wine and they may justify it they may say that oh it's fine you know it's fine it's okay to drink everybody drinks so we can also drink so why don't you drink okay or they may be uh, eating meat sometimes okay or there are so many other things which we know so then we have to understand that these people who are uh, indulging in such habits or they are having devious means like somebody uh, takes the shortcut for career or for some other area you know, by doing some nefarious activity. So, so when, when we have such interactions, then there is a very high probability that we might also become like them if we associate too much with them. Okay. So therefore, in Purva Falguni, what happens is anyone and everyone that we meet, we feel as if, you know, oh, they are our best friends. They are the best people that we have ever met. It can happen like that. But when it comes to Uttar Falguni, we realize that we have to cut down our connections to those people with whom we can progress ahead in life, okay, spiritually and both materially. Because in Purva Falguni, sometimes uh, we find many people, you know, they will come and uh, they will tell us, you know, oh, I have this business idea for you or let's do this together. Let's do this. Let's do that. Okay. In Purva Falguni, it can happen. And then later on, when you use your intelligence and you think, and then you realize, no, this is not a good idea. This is not what I should be doing. This is not what I, or this is not where I belong to. So then when Uttar Falguni comes, you need to make that decision, okay? And now especially uh, Venus is also transiting. Venus is going to transit. Sun is going to transit Mercury and Mars, okay? So therefore, uh, the first 15 days of the month are very crucial because Uttar Falguni, uh, that Aryaman is associated with it, okay? And Aryaman is the one who gets things done for the demigods in the higher planetary realms. Okay, he he's like a very good friend. So now, now if uh, you 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 want to connect yourself with some friend, or you want to make friendships, genuine friendships, okay, not just superficial hi hello acquaintances, then now is a very good time to make friendships. And if you also want to sign some contract or make some negotiations with them then this is a very good time to do it 
and this is also a very good time where you can rethink on your existing areas of your life because Uttar Falguni extends from Leo and it goes to Virgo okay so therefore uh, these uh, this nakshatra is very good if you want to see the things that are in the ground okay and therefore if you already have something in your mind which you are planning to execute and complete it take things to completion then this month is the best month you will not get any month better than this okay it's like uh, as they say no can't get better than this so please do it now itself and if there are certain projects which you have been working maybe on your career or marriage or health or any area of your life or spirituality which you have realized that uh, you you cannot go ahead because 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 of certain limitations or due to uh, certain other factors which are beyond your control then now is the time that you close those projects okay you you tell yourself you stop pretending and you tell yourself that uh, look my dear sir this is not going to happen i know it and <clears throat> i have tried my best and there's no harm in admitting that because every time we can't just do any everything that we want we will only be able to do the things that uh, is sanctioned by our karma i would say so let's accept the fact so for example if you have some lofty goal in your career and then you are, you have realized that no that's not possible then be humble and let us admit it to ourselves you know? and what's the big deal i mean maybe not now but maybe sometime in the future we will try for that promotion or opening that startup but if you have some plan which you have not executed and you want to do it now then now is the best time that you can do it okay and later on of course you know it will uh, these planets will enter virgo and after entering virgo you know these the, these traits will come out even more okay so the first 15 days is more of the planning stuff and the next 15 days of the month from 15th september to 30th september those days will be more of the execution part so the summary is now let us now now this week like today second so now is the time that we plan properly okay execution can be done later on the next 10 15 days but now is the time that we plan properly and we can take help we can take guidance from our seniors in the spiritual community or anybody so now if you are planning to seek advice from somebody this is the best time that you can do okay in the next 15 days or the entire month advice regarding anything in your life or if you are planning to do some financial investments anything you want then now you can approach a guide or a counselor or anybody who you feel uh, can guide you okay so now is the best time that you meet good people you have good interactions with them interactions in a way that benefits you and your overall life and makes you a better person not just uh, in a financial sense okay and at the end towards the later part you make those decisions and the, these decisions will be more concerned with the areas where leo is falling in your chart leo and virgo primarily and also the houses which uh, mars and mercury rules in your chart venus also but to more extent uh, to a large extent it is uh, mars i would say and to some extent mercury also okay so this is what i would like to say and uh, this is a very good month so please do not waste it please do not uh, just uh, do superficial things so make concrete connections and take advice and in the later half of the month please go and execute your plans okay thank you very much if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want a consultation from me to understand how this transit will affect you then you can go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and uh, just don't look you plan and execute and then you'll find him okay thank you very much wish you a great day and a great week ahead thank you